but we couldn't do enough in 12 hours of the day or whatever. And so like Dan had to work 12 hours. I would come into work at six, like knuckles oh, down no yeah, and then yeah. i would carry on through, through the, the night. night and then in the morning dan would come in no knuckles, yeah. and then yeah. and then we'd just go through literally 12 12 12 12 okay, it's never it's shot. never too late when, when we come back from traveling so i was like 32 um i was on i was on the dole i was 20 grand in debt we, we was living with my mom and dad in a room with james but and we on yeah, I'm like back then I was special as well, mate. It's not like <laughs> I mean I was like, and we were like <laughs> yeah. but even then it, I mean I didn't have a clue about yeah. life. You know I mean? <laughs> and so it, 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 we were in this tiny room, like six foot by four foot. So like there's a bed, a little single bed, and then a little mattress on the floor where I think James was. I was on the bed, and even then we were like come back and we're like right, we need to try and set up some sort of business, and uh, we <laughs> we managed to like. We're getting doll money, so we like save that up, <laughs> and then uh, we managed to like save up about three hundred quid to buy this printer. It's like uh, this is way, way, way before any hobo jack stuff or anything. Um, and we we bought this printer off this guy, which was a regular printer, but I'd watched yeah. a, a video on how you can convert this printer with inks into like print t shirts. Oh my god, and, um, <laughs> it was all our money, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was like we put everything F into last yeah. three hundred pounds. We like, so, yeah. so we bought this thing, and um. And we fucking got it back home. That set, and it's it took. I uh, watched all these videos. We I remember we printed a t-shirt, didn't we? And it weren't. Yeah. It actually weren't half bad, was it? it, no, like, it, looked, yeah, it looked, yeah, yeah, decent, decent print. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we were like fucking we fuck sweet. It, yeah. We were like we can we can knock these out on on eBay uh, and make some money. And then like I was like, oh, we, should we wash this it first? Mate, and they just fucking, fucking the whole thing was fucked. Yeah, so we literally put all our yeah. money into this this thing. And print, just, yeah, just, yeah, just didn't. Obviously, we, like <laughs> when we eventually like. Three, four years on after that, when we eventually bought a, a, a t shirt printer yeah, meant yeah, for purpose yeah. for like for 12 grand, um, you know, it does the business. But we were trying to manage it. was funny, like, I tell you, like an, another story like me and Dan got that, and uh, we got like we was, I think we were selling on like Amazon and eBay and stuff. And we got really busy, and like I think because we knew that we'd had the opportunity before and we missed that, we just knew that we was on to something, yeah. And uh, like I say, the the orders started coming in and we were like, we couldn't do enough. We only had one machine, so only one of us could print and we'd pack yeah. in that. But we couldn't do enough in sort of, um, you know, the 12 hours of the day or whatever. And so like, Dan had to work 12 hours and then literally like, I would come into work at six, like knuckles oh, down no yeah, and then yeah. I would carry on through, through the, the night. night and then in the morning, Dan would come in. No knuckles, yeah. Right. And then, yeah. And then we'd just go through literally 12, 12, 12, 12, yeah. and just yeah. fucking that, that. I mean, that was life. I would get wake up, uh, you know, in the afternoon, in at six, print through the night, like loneliest nights ever. Yeah. Uh, we you know, smashed it Dan. the first year. Like, yeah, we, like, yeah. man, you've never seen. No, fucking, not one day off. Yeah. Like, not, just because yeah. we knew how special it was because we, we'd like, you know, we've been really broke before. We'd, we'd come close, like, three yeah. years prior to that to like well like, oh man we can actually get ink onto a t-shirt yeah. yeah and like and we you know we, we we created we did a cool design we had this like it was like some sort of like things like a dot martin dot martin yeah. type we've all we put like um those are like i can't but we'd put like different Background, images yeah. into the, and it looked really cool but it, i've got a picture somewhere yeah. i might send it but to it, you um, it up on the screen it's like, <laughs> it our first ever but it, yeah print. but yeah. it washed out and we were yeah. and then that was it end of the end of the the dream for that and, and then that we went on from that to um just selling like selling on eBay in the room and yeah. like building up stock in this like literal room you can't swing a cat and we were yeah. just buy and sell whatever we could um to flip it um yeah, we're doing some Lonsdale bits weren't we to Australia yeah, awesome. and, yeah, anything, anything, like anything that we could flip and make money we were doing it yeah. on there but uh but, but the, I just the, knew like what again when when that opportunity comes up and you're you, you know when you're like right fucking I feel like I can do this now you have to fucking go balls deep don't yeah. You? <laughs> just yeah yeah because well, yeah. every and now and then, then like, and that way you'll never yeah. have no regrets because yeah. when you get the opportunity like i said there's loads of things which go until that point i'd look back and gone fucking out like I've, you know i didn't finish school didn't get no gcse's i didn't i, I, I fell out of, not fell out i uh dropped out of college and i suppose for ages i was like fucking out, i'll keep letting it but as soon as i had that opportunity i was like this is it yeah i ain't fucking i'm not Letting go of this one, yeah. sleeping until it's fucking until we yeah. until we've done it, and it's like so. Um, yeah, you just have to not give up, really. Mm. Just, and it's never too late. Like I say, yeah. thirty-two. Um, 
the position I was in, like it, it, most 32 year olds, it was an awful position to, yeah. to, to be in. Like literally 20 grand in debt, no, no money at all. Like living in a in a square, square tiny little room at your mum and dad's at 32. Like it's, yeah, yeah, most yeah. people at 32 are like on the way to some I would sort say of a like, quarter of this room. It was yeah, it was yeah. tiny. Yeah. Really, yeah. Fight yeah. Too. Most just... people on the way to, but I did. The, the thing was, I did. I just didn't date myself. Like yeah. I'd done other stuff. Like I hadn't been a bum up until thirty two. Yeah, I, you yeah. know, I'd done other jobs and stuff, and, and made other money for people and that. But um, it, I just, you know, I knew it was just a, a temporary, temporary thing. So yeah, it's just, it, it's not too late. Yeah. Even for 42, 52, doesn't matter. You can still, yeah, nah. you know, you can. It takes 10, 20 years. You can flip your life around.